let's start with the origin of the fear of overpopulation. This fear goes back at least to the 18th century when the English clergyman Thomas Malthus published his famous essay on population, arguing that a growing population would lead to famine and mass starvation. Uh, and to combat that, he was willing to endorse some very extreme measures. He was even willing to encourage the return of the bubonic plague pandemic to wipe out uh, many people and prevent what he saw as an even worse disaster of overpopulation. And that kind of disregard for the welfare of ordinary people, unfortunately, often arises when you do view uh, so-called overpopulation as this dreaded emergency. And the population was starting to rise uh, during his lifetime. But what he did not foresee was that after he passed away, the Industrial Revolution occurred, which allowed humanity to create more of uh, practically everything, including more food than we ever had historically. And as a result of that, we were able to raise living standards to an extent that would be unimaginable to our ancestors. And this allowed the population to grow more, but we were able to feed that growing population. But the population explosion that you're talking about really took off uh, in the 60s and 70s as uh, medical uh, innovations and technologies started to reach different corners of the world. And we really saw a huge decrease in mortality rates, particularly infant and child mortality rates. And with those falling mortality rates, we saw a big boom in population with the world growing from 3 billion people in 1960 to 4 billion in 1975, just 15 years later. And with that huge rise in population came a return of the Malthusian panic. Uh, we call it neo-Malthusianism and this new iteration that really arose uh, in the 70s with uh, the rise of the environmental movement as well. People were worried that this growing population, which has continued to grow, as you point out, would lead to environmental disaster, an um, ecosystem collapse, and ultimately resource scarcity and starvation, widespread starvation, uh, as well as in some cases, floods were predicted, other environmental disasters. And these days you often hear overpopulation tied to the fear of, uh, of climate change as well and growing uh, numbers of people creating more pollution. But what the environmentalists who embraced overpopulation alarmism in the 1970s failed to predict was the green revolution. Once again, humanity rose to the challenge of a growing population. The green revolution was a series of agricultural innovations that allowed uh, humankind to uh, produce more food with less land. And uh, that uh, was so effective that today we actually produce more than enough calories to feed everyone on earth. Where there is still starvation or famine, it's the result of social disruption or a natural disaster like an earthquake disrupting supply chains. It's, it's a problem of distribution, not of not having enough food. We now have enough to feed everyone. And so again and again, we've seen humanity rise to these challenges of a booming or growing population.